Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 128, Count Occurrences of Each Text. Today's question is sent in by Muhammad. Muhammad has this list and he wants to know how many cars of Toyota, how many cabs of Nissan and so on. Well, hey, this is going to be easy with a pivot table. So we select one cell in the data, insert, pivot table, OK, we get a brand new worksheet where we're going to build our report. Check mark data dump, it goes down the left hand side. This is one unique occurrence of uh, every value in the original data and then take data dump and move it to values because that is text. We're done. I think that's what Mohammed wanted. Although, hey, let's do a little bit uh, more. I'm going to do Alt D E for data text to columns, delimited by a space. And very important here, I'm going to say that this is going to go not to G2, but to H2. That'll create two new fields for me. Let's create a pivot table from this. Insert, pivot table, OK. We'll put uh, type down the left hand side with a check mark. Column labels across. Uh, you know what? Let's put column label or brand down the column labels. Type going across. And then take any text field to the values area to get a count. Uh, we're practically done here. Options for empty cell show zero. I don't like the blank cells. And finally, design, report, layout, tabular form. So we have real headings, brand and type, instead of row labels and column labels. There you go, a, a crosstab report showing for each brand, how many bus, cab, car, and van. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, uh, you know, pivot table really is the way to go. And here's the reason why. If you really do have a data dump, this means just dumped on your computer one time, the data is not going to change. Man, messing around with formulas is not worth it because a pivot table can do this so quickly. Now, if you didn't want to use the pivot table, we could use advanced filter extract unique records. So I'm going to have uh, a single cell selected, like so many of our data analysis uh, features require, just a single cell. Go up to advanced in the filter or Alt A Q. I'm going to select copy to another location. It got the the uh, list correctly. One important thing about this list range is if you're extracting a unique list, you better have a field name at the top that's different than anything down in here. If you don't have a field name, you'll get exactly one duplicate because it'll think the first item is the field name. Criteria range, we don't have any criteria, but you could have it if you're doing a unique list extract. I'm going to say unique records only. That's going to be our only criteria. And copy to maybe uh, a uh, E1, click OK. And just like that, I have a unique list. You can see that that took a few more clicks than that pivot table. Oh, pivot tables are so amazing. Count, Control Enter, Control B for bold. I'm going to use the count if equals count if. And then the range, arrow, 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 Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma, and then left arrow to get my criteria, which is a relative cell reference. Notice I'm not going to put a close parenthesis. I'm just going to Control Enter and double click and send it down. So there we have uh, counted uh, the unique items from this list. Pivot table is really the way to go. Now, if you want to download this workbook and see something insane, there are some formulas here to extract the unique list from this data set. This is just crazy. Only reason you would ever do something this insane is if for some reason you had a dashboard or the data, um, the data was changing a lot. Because <clears throat> if it's a one-time deal, do a pivot table. Or if you want to waste some time, do advanced filter and count if. All right, let's throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, there you have it. Hey, Mike. You didn't even put the right parenthesis in. You didn't put the closing parenthesis. Just enter, and Excel doesn't give you any hassle about, hey, we think you meant to add a parenthesis. It just puts that in. That's a cool trick. I've never seen you do that one before. And here all this time, I've been typing the right parenthesis. So uh, excellent. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.